So uh, we're able to use this um, as another piece of that puzzle to protect the property. It doesn't replace home hardening. It doesn't replace vegetation management. It's another level of protection on the vegetation that remains and where, again, if we can prevent the ember cast from other vegetation, from the vegetation getting to the home, it's just another level of protection. Uh, we've used this around homeowners' homes. Uh, communities are starting uh, to use this. We applied it in, in riverbeds um, where there was a, a homeless uh, encampment. You know, they, they accidentally have fires and we're able to protect that, that riverbed. Uh, uh, government infrastructure, radio communication sites, and water towers that are set up on hills for, you know, for obvious reasons, so you get better re radio reception and you need the gravity for the water. There's, there's been fires like the Kenaloa fire where the fire came and the water infrastructure went out because the power was cut. Well, we can use FOSCheck or fire retardant to protect around city infrastructure. Uh, evacuation routes out of a community. If I've got a, a two-lane road, I can put 100 feet on each side where the fire's gonna give us that much more protection. So that's another uh, a tool that's uh, available to us. Uh, I'm gonna have April come in here. We've treated uh, some of this hay with the LC95. So we're going to see how uh, we can get this going. So this side is, is not untreated straw. And so this is this has been treated and, and until it's washed away it remains on there. And all uh, long-term fire retardants are based on uh, the salts that are in them that that act as the fire retardant. So as the fire gets to the treated material as it heats up it creates a char that insulates that that uh, the vegetation and the fuels and the byproduct of the burning salts is actually water. It's H2O and that helps extinguish as well. Now you're starting to see the different smoke, different color smoke you'll start seeing where the, the water vapor will be coming out. So you see how the fire is slowing down at that point and starting to die out. So what this does is it slows the fire down to give us a better chance for the fire department to get in there. It, the flames will die down. It's not a guarantee that it's gonna extinguish the fire. It's gonna slow it down so the firefighters can, you know, less BTUs and we can get some water in there. So there you have it. You can see with that line where the FOS check has been applied. And again, once it's applied, it's good until it's washed off. And generally that's a quarter inch of rain. Put this on your calendar, OP. We finally burned something. We finally burned something. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. And that's how long term fire retardants work.